How are we doing, guys? Welcome to DT's Daily. Now, on today's show, we're going to be talking about the European Super League because, once again, it's reared its ugly head. And the last piece of news involves Manchester United because last night they dropped two points against a managerless Leeds United. I represent my fucking self. How are we doing, guys? Welcome to DT's Daily. That's right. So the first place we're going to start is the news that was breaking earlier today about a European Super League. Now, we all remember um, just over a year or so ago when the news broke about this Super League, the backlash from it was huge. Um, and it's not something that, you know, the fans want. Um, it's what the clubs want because it's going to make them a lot of money. But it's not what the fans want. Now, the talk of this new Super League, one that's been um, revised a little bit, uh, makes it a little bit more less exclusive, shall we say. Um, the previous format for the Super League was based on, you know, coefficiency and it would have the big sides in there and them only. It's exclusivity. They will always be in there. You know, you can't get in. It's It was mad, like what they were, you know, trying to do. And I still find it strange as well that when you look to all of the the teams in there and you had your, you know, your Real Madrid's and Barcelona's and Manchester United's and Arsenal's and Liverpool's, etc. You know, teams that have competed at the highest level, won league titles and everything else. And then you had Spurs. Like, mad. How the hell are they a super team? Um, but that's a, you know, another story for another day. But yeah, it was just, it was crazy. And the backlash from fans was huge. And they didn't want it. There was protests everywhere. And I remember being at the one at the Emirates. Um, and it was just mad how clubs and fans all just got together. Um, but apparently they're putting, you know, this proposal together and it's not going to be as exclusive. Um you know, it's going to be based on performance, you know, year on year, not the exclusivity. So, you know, for example, let's take this season, Liverpool, poor, absolutely horrendous season they're having. They wouldn't get the opportunity, from what I'm reading, to be in the Super League next season because of their performance. They wouldn't just get a free pass because they're Liverpool and what they have achieved in the past um but yeah for me it just stinks of money again it's just you know do they really think about the match going fan do they really think about the fans in general um i think that you know in this country for example in england i think that they don't care about the match going fan and that's you know to do with the television companies the Premier League and everything else. We all see this. Now, a lot of people that don't live in England might not know about this, but there were, you know, were reports a couple of weeks or so ago that, um, you know, the Metropolitan Police are going to crack down on illegal streaming in this country and they're going to receive big fines and the police are coming through your door if you're streaming a game illegally, etc. It sounds mad, but that's what they were saying and um yeah there was you know what i would say to this is that in other countries you can get all of the premier league games um you've got access to watch the free pm games and everything else we don't have access in this country to legally watch free pm games um and when you you know buy your subscriptions to be able to watch the premier league you've got to have sky you've got to have bt and you've now got to have Amazon. And you're looking at that and you're thinking, right, we still don't get all the games. And you're having to pay in excess of around about £150 a month just for those packages. It's a rip-off. It's all one big rip-off. And I can see why people, you know, will watch streams, you know, that are provided on social media and whatnot. Because, 
People can't afford it. They're talking about cost of living crisis, but yeah, let's go and spend 150 odd pound a month on sports package. It's like, come on, man, seriously. But yeah, listen, I just don't know how I feel about it. I don't know where I sit with it. I think we'll hear more as this goes on. But for me, it just it just doesn't sit right. It's just kind of, you know, if this is something that they were talking about to, you know, rejuvenate the Champions League or something along them lines, then, okay, that's still the European competition. This is like a, a Super League, minimum, like, guaranteed 14 games or something like that. How do you fit that into the current season? Does, you know, you have to leave the Premier League to go in this Super League, but surely you can't if there's only a minimum 14 games for the season. And, like, is those 14 games going to be added on? But then what happens? Do you prioritise that? And then not the Premier League. And then, you know, the FA Cup's going to get pushed to one side. The Carabao Cup's already been pushed to the side and not really bothered about. And there's just so many different questions that need answering. And I suppose the World Cup that's just gone has kind of given them that confidence to say that you can do something out of the norm. Nobody would have thought we would have had a World Cup mid-season. Didn't agree with it. Think it's absolutely throwing everything all over the place. But... They still were able to do it. So they'll look and say, well, yeah, we'll add an extra 14 games or so in there. Do, you know, they're only playing 50 odd already. Who cares about burnout? Come on, man. Yeah, I don't know where I'll sit with it, to be honest with you. Not for me. Not for me. Um, that's for sure. So listen, last piece of news involves Manchester United. And of course, they were in action last night in the Premier League at home to Leeds United. And to be honest with you, I wasn't even paying attention to the game. I wasn't looking at it. I wasn't bothered about it because I actually thought that Manchester United would win that game comfortably. I thought that they would absolutely steamroll Leeds United. Now, Leeds are without a manager. So there wasn't even a new manager bounce because they've got nobody in. It's the caretaker manager um, that's had to come in and you know steady the ship. And they go into Old Trafford. And I'm looking at it and I'm already thinking, Man United are going to win. We've got two games in hand on them. They're going to creep five points behind. We're going to have to just be a little edgy on that respect. But, you know, just keep doing our, our business. We're far enough ahead and everything. And the only reason why I knew the score was because of a group chat I'm in on WhatsApp. And there's a couple of Manchester United fans in there. And they were like, right, I'm off to bed. See you later, boys. And I looked at the time and I was like, why did it go? Oh, and it clocked. And I went over and had a look and I thought, wow, 2-0. And I knew I shouldn't have looked because then it was 2-1. Then it was 2-2. Two, two. And the group chat, they came back and they were like, oh, maybe I won't go to bed yet. So uh, I was like, oh, mate, 20 minutes left. Old Trafford, they're going to win it. They're going to win it. But they didn't. And they only got a draw. And um, for me, that's two points dropped. I think if you speak to Manchester United fans, they'll tell you as well, it's two points dropped. You know, no Casemiro. Remember that because he's suspended for three games. And once again, without Casemiro, they don't look the same. They don't look so assured and comfortable. It was the poor performance all round. So, yeah, Manchester United have dropped two points. So, it's as simple as that. So, there we go. That is it for today's DT's Daily as usual. Let me know in the comment section what you think about today's topics. Um, what do you think of the Super League? What do you think of Manchester United's performance? Let me know. If you're new around here, do make sure you hit the subscribe button. Smash a like on this video and I will see you lot soon. I'm out of here.